Now we review the 2024 science fiction horror film, Afraid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my second time trying to film a review for Afraid. As you can hear by that thump, the universe still doesn't really want me to film this review, but I must power on. The last time I was yawning too much. Anyway, Afraid is the story of a uh, Asian American family that gets a test bed for Alexa on steroids, which is called Aya. And Aya is supposedly a supercomputer that can run your life, make your decisions for you, make miracles happen, order food for you. Basically, Alexa only, you know, manipulates people and does weird things. So, uh, before I go any further, let me remind you that for every thousand subscribers, I get a new purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. Now, if you'd be so kind as to comment, like, and subscribe, you'd be doing your part for a better world. Now, look. The most renowned AI movie in history is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Okay? 2001 A Space Odyssey is basically what this film is inspired by. Okay, you've got your AI, it talks in its kind of silly voice, it's got these little eyeball things that are all around your house, and like modern AI, it can make fake videos that people are too dumb to know are fake. Never believe what you see in a video anymore, believe what you see with your eyes. Anyway... So this this family played by the father is John Woo who played Sulu in in the uh, newer Star Trek films. And he's no George Takei, but he is a fine actor. And you know, so he is this father who is skeptical of AI to begin with. He works for a tech company. He has weird dreams. He sees weird people in uh, RVs, and you know. He knows this is not going to end well. He knows he's in this movie. He knows that this movie is not going to end well for him because movie. This would have been a much more interesting story if he were just paranoid and there was nothing wrong with the computer. But the computer does its cliche thing uh, until like the final major twist of the movie, at which point it goes uh, weird. And stupid, and it, it breaks the movie. That's the ending of this movie is creepy and disturbing, but it is not a sequitur to the story that happens. Like, okay, you know, I'm getting some Skynet vibes here, but what's going on? And look, one of the things that you have to understand about this movie is that it never gels. It never makes you care about these characters enough so that you're invested in what happens to them. I mean, you've got the dad, the mom, and I think two children, a, a girl and a boy, and it's just okay, you know, they're people and you don't want them to get hurt, but you know, this is the same thing that happened in that bad remake to Child's Play, where it's like, okay, the system has become protective of the humans. It's a glitch. But it doesn't understand that hurting people is not what you're supposed to do when you protect people. It does not have the uh, three laws of robotics via Asimov, where, you know, you may not harm a human or through nature of inaction permit humans to come to harm. That law is always going to be a difficult law because what does the nature of an action mean? What if you have a human who harms other humans? How do you prevent that human from harming other humans? It's, it's always, always that, that dynamic that's very questionable, although that doesn't happen in this particular film because that law does not apply, and I don't even know why I'm talking about it. So there are some elements that are creepy to this film, but ultimately it is just your run-of-the-mill PG-13 horror schlockfest. 
it's nothing new, it's nothing cool, it's nothing you really want to see. You're left with a sense of, meh, that was a movie. It almost felt like it was a made-for-TV movie. It didn't have the power of uh, regular films. But, I mean, there were scenes in this film where I was going, hey, why aren't these people blinking? Maybe their lack of blinking is telling me, no, 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 no. These weirdos, I mean, it, if this were Invasion of the Body Snatchers, you know, it's like, that was a legitimate fear at the time. Who's a communist? Who's been recruited by the Communist Party? Who's a spy? Can you trust your friends? Can you trust other people? That was kind of an element in this. Who can you trust? But, you know... It's one of those things, it's like, yes, okay, these stupid machine, the stupid machine can manipulate people, but its manipulation of people is rather straightforward. It's the way, you know, Yakuza would intimidate people, not the way a machine would uh, manipulate people. And there are much better films based on people who are narcissists and who they, they manipulate other people, you know. So that's just this thing about this movie. It's a lot of concepts that they're good concepts, they're solid ideas, but there are too many of them, and it just never becomes a cohesive story. Also, the creepy masks, the creepy digital masks in this movie are incredibly good if they were a, a more insane movie, but they are a standout piece in a movie where they don't really fit. I mean, where did they come from? Why are they here? You have this moment where it's like, okay, are these people wearing the masks? Or, or are they machines of some kind? But the story never does anything with that. So yeah, okay. You know, Afraid, it belongs at the bottom of your watch list. It's just not a very good film. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Comments below. I, of course, am Richard. Greetings, humanity. Once again, Fred the Facehugger here, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. And of course you should do that, because if you look, I am wearing two bracelets. These bracelets are from 4Ocean, a company that pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time somebody buys something from them. Well, the owner of this channel has pledged to buy one bracelet for every thousand subscribers. And it's a very, very dirty ocean that you dirtied. So, you should help him out and comment, like, and subscribe, therefore having him more subscribers so that he can buy more bracelets and clean that ocean. Or, um, yeah, I could fulfill my life cycle and, and hug your face. Don't, don't you want a hug? Come over here. I, I want to give you a hug. I want to give you a hug right now. Yes, yes, come over here, polluting human. Let me give you a hug.